And I welcome you back to the Debritic Channel. Today we are talking about California. We'll be talking about Lake Oroville, Lake Shasta, and we'll also be talking about the Colorado River. I will not be doing lake levels tonight, but I will be talking about the weather that's going to hit there. This is fantastic news all the way around. Vegas, you're going to get in on the action too. And one of the models is even suggesting that you guys are going to get a lot of snow. So this might be very, very interesting. It's a long way out, so we'll see if it probably will change. It is Vegas, who knows, but it has snowed there before. This won't be the first time, as seen right here. It's a very possibility that it could snow there. And we are starting right out here at windy.com, and you can see we are looking at the snow map here. And they're saying that Vegas is going to get snow. Both models are in agreement that Vegas is going to get snow, but both models are saying two different amounts, so we'll see which one actually wins. They're both saying within the next 10 days that Vegas will get 1.3, and we'll talk about the GFS here in a minute, so you have to stick around for that look at this over here i want to start with my friend cerro gordo mine over here as we scoot in you can see this is a cerro gordo peak so i assume the mine's pretty close by they're talking about 14.6 inches according to the european model 14.76 inches there at cerro gordo he asked me to scroll in not a problem so there you have it friend 14.7 possibly is the gfs agreeing there at cerro gordo they're saying 17.6 so we will see one of those two will win out maybe neither one of them will who knows it is a very long way out so who knows we are just looking strictly at snow amounts currently so as we continue to roll up we're going to roll up to bishop 42 inches and check out this 82 83 and this is the european remember european was being not very aggressive the other day and boy have things have changed they're talking yosemite valley could get 65 inches of snow bear valley 65 inches of snow and we can continue to roll up by South Lake Tahoe here. They're talking about 52. Tahoe City, 64. Truckee up here, 57. Look at Virginia City. Dayton, they're talking about 23 inches. Carson City, 29. Alta, 56. Grass Valley over here, 32 inches. This is around Lake Folsom here. You can see over here by Auburn, you're talking about 11.4. And we continue to roll up closer to the Feather River. And you're talking Lake Oroville is even going to get snow. They're talking Talking about 8.6 possibly coming. Bear Creek, 29 inches. East Quincy, they're talking about 41.8. Caribou over here, 43. Sterling City, 47. Chico over here is going to get 8.5. Paradise is going to get 20 inches. Concow is going to get 31 inches. This is not going to be a real heavy snow for Lake Shasta. Mount Shasta could get a little bit of snow, but the valley here by Mount Shasta is about 35 inches. Not quite as aggressive down south. Trinity over over here about 27 so this is good up here 50 inches we're talking about a huge amount of snow how much of this equivalents to rain we're going to check that out now you're talking about 5.46 inches of rain but look at this 6.24 so some of this is going to be rain some of it's going to be snow a lot more snow than rain maybe about half i would say 7.4 this is an insane amount they're talking about a ton of precipitation coming we come up to lake oroville 5.6 we come over to lake like Folsom, you're talking about 6.6. .6. We come up to Mount Shasta up here, and you're talking about 5.4. This is all snow and rain. Look at this over by Bear Valley. They're talking about 7 inches of liquid that this will equivalent. This is just an insane amount of rain slash snow. Yosemite Valley, 7.12. Not all of that's going to be snow. Some of it's going to be rain. My guess is it's too far out to really guess. This is 10 days out. Bishop over here, 5.4. Las Vegas, look this out 1.18 inches of rain possibly coming now i want to talk about the snow that could possibly come into las vegas we're going to scoot in closer here to vegas here and you can see that they're talking about 1.14 here on the european new snow they're talking about 1.12 we go back to rain accumulation we go over to the gfs the gfs is called up for 1.57 inches of rain and here's what you guys have been waiting for check this out gfs is actually calling for 8.5 inches of snow in las vegas 8.5 i don't 
know if the city's ever seen that much snow, but that's a lot. But you go just to the east of Vegas, close to Lake Mead, and you're talking about 3.8. Over in Boulder City, 3.7. So Henderson over there, they're talking about 4.9. So that's incredible if that happens. And this, look at this here. If this really comes to pass, this is really good for the Colorado River. Not that we're talking about it tonight, but just in general, this is really, really good news. Lake Havasu, they're talking about 0.7. Sorry about that supercharge. You might get snow my friend it's a very good possibility grand junction up here they're talking about 12.6 aspen 13.7 tell you ride 26.5 down here just south and east the tell you ride close to creed they're talking about 31 more inches of snow so this is fantastic news we come up here and you're talking 21.7 my friend that lives in st louis she asked me to talk about salt lake city so sure there you go Teresa. 18.9 and i'm not going to talk about the water today but but this is good news because they're in a severe drought over there and they say that the salt lake could possibly go dry within the next five years that's insane maybe sooner we come over here by the flaming gorge and the flaming gorge is going to get right around 10.1 and we come up here towards the beginning of the green river and you're talking about 16 inches overall this is going to be a snowy west and a lot of snow is possibly coming the gfs and European are disagreeing on how much snow's coming. Rain rain accumulations, it's agreeing but disagreeing. It's definitely two different models showing two different things. But the whole West, like from basically from the divide to the West, is just wet with the exception of this little stretch of California and Arizona down here and Mexico as well. So now we're going to check out what's going on in the Sierra mountain range here. We are talking about the snowpack and we are going to go right to the graph here. As we roll out to the graph, you can see that in the north, we are currently sitting at 113%. That's right here. And then 152%. This is for April 1st, 152% in the north. And as I just showed you in windy.com, this is really going to grow in the next several weeks, the next 10 days for sure. This is going to come up a lot and you'll see a spike. You can see like in December it spiked, then it went down and then it shot back up in January. It kind of looks like a mountain almost. <laughs> Funny as that may be. So now we're in the central on February 18th. Percentage of April 1st date was 140%. Today's date's 186%, and that's right here. You can see as it gets closer to April 1st, these two lines will start to emerge regardless to where it's at because a month and a half away from April 1st. So the closer we get, the closer these will, will become as we get there. This line is, you can see where it snowed, where it snowed some more, where it snowed a little bit more, snowed some more, snowed some more. You can see each storm, you can see it go down and then up and now you can see it's a downhill slide, but you know it'll be coming back up with all the snow that's possibly coming in the next 10 days. This thing will definitely probably be close to 300% before it's all said and done. Let's go to the south next. We're in the South Sierra mountain range here, and you can see that in the south, for today's date, it's 223%, and for your April 1st date, 168% still. That's incredible. This thing has gone nothing but up here, and we are getting closer here, and this won't gradually go down as we're getting closer and closer to the April 1st date. We're still well above average for all three of these. So this is fantastic news and we continue to roll on next. Now we're going to go out to your graphs and here's 2021, here's 2022, and 2023 for Lake Oroville and Lake Oroville's water level is currently 825.73 feet MSL Monday, February 20th, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level is 74.27 feet below full pool of 900. This thing continues to rise. That we're getting closer and closer to that 850. We're only 25 feet away. And with all the rain and snow coming, it is going to happen. They're going to have to open up the spillway gates before too much longer, I believe, and let water out because it's just going to get there and change. Changes since yesterday, 0 0.67, so that's insane, and we continue to roll on. Now we're at Lake Oroville's percentage of capacity, and you can see your storage percentage is actually at 70 
5% today, so this has come up some. It hasn't come up all the way yet, so we continue to roll on. You can you can see the roller coaster November being the lowest, December starting to be higher than September, but not quite August 65 and 70. This thing should by March, this thing should be closer to 80 to 90, maybe over 100% with all the amount of snow that's coming. So we went from 36 to 70. That's pretty doggone good. And we continue to roll on here. We are now at Lake Oroville's inflows and outflows. Your inflows currently are 5,094 and your outflows are currently 544 and we continue to roll out to Lake Shasta next. And here is your current levels here at Lake Shasta. Lake Shasta's current water level is 992.96 feet MSL. Monday, February 20th, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level 74.04 feet below full pool of 1,067. Changes since yesterday this thing has come up 0.12 it's not coming up near as fast as it was but this is what's going on at lake shasta and we continue to roll on over to your storage this percentage of capacity your current percentage of capacity is currently 59 percent that's today's level and we go to your inflows and outflows next your inflows are currently 3661 and we continue to roll to the outflows next and your outflows are currently 2937 and and that is all I have for tonight. I hope everybody's well, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.